Hello everybody, Sift here again with another tiny rogues run, the best action combat roguelike out there. And today we're gonna be playing the Paladin, which says you are granted 3d to 4d radiant damage per maximum point of armor you have. And he's good, we're gonna go into a good run, let's do this. Radiant damage now in a good run isn't really that good, obviously, but uh, let's see. And we also got a, a uh, what is a set item right away. So my items are eh, just a hammer, whatever, who cares. We got a Paladin helmet, which says recover a heart whenever you repair your armor. And then we have the set passive that says fully repair your armor entering the floor. So that means when I enter a floor, I repair my armor and I heal. And this is plus one block and plus one armor. That's it. That's why we have so much shielding. Let's go money, I guess. And let's see how this is going to go. Stay away. Oh, we're already doing radiant damage. So I should be able to read this here in offense. I'm doing 100 to 235 damage. And then the radiant is 60 to 80 on top of that. And radiant damage, by the way, also applies the glitter debuff, which has 2% chance per stack to apply uh, to get a lucky hit. So that's 20% lucky hit chance at full stacks. Strength against random key things. Uh, I, I would say let's go at random things. A key or a bomb is important in the early game. I can find strength later. I mean, strength is obviously very good, but let's go to bomb, please. Ah, uh, money, whatever. Soul hard against... Uh, I don't care about the soul hard. We have so, so, so much uh, of everything. But I don't think the soul hard even matters. Bombs are here. Nice. Forget their... I have 20 coins and I have one luck. Arcade is where we're gonna go. With one luck, arcade is where we go. Nice. We high roll the key for a coin. No. I'm staying away so I can see what we get. We got two bombs for a coin, and just like that, the arcade already paid off 50 times. Yep, we already, this was the most worth arcade ever, and we got even the soul heart. Arcade has always busted. And we got a flying dragon sword, one of the best items in the game. Wielding this weapon grants dragon wings and 50% increased movement speed. So, the reason why this is one of the best items in the game, Paladin's cause deactivated. Oh, because the two-handed sword, oof. I mean, yeah, we definitely use a busted weapon in comparison to that thing for the time being. And I'm even running fast. Here we got a key. I have little wings. <laughs> this is so stupid. Retro armor. Grants 30% increased damage dealt to close range. Are you serious? What is this? The best arcade ever existed? What did we just roll? I rolled a blacksmith whetstone. Repair all your armor. And revive you once from death. A phoenix feather that I just need to keep on me. What? I have never seen this item in the first place. Another soul heart. The best arcade. And another key. We, we just... The run is done, man. Another soul heart. What is this? Okay. I'm not gonna bomb this. This is the best thing ever. Uh, I would say we stick to my shielding so I don't lose the soul hearts. And maybe... Just... Why, why am I so slow? I guess I'm encumbered for some reason. Did I lose all my strength? Oh, I'm encumbered because I have this right now. Oh, maybe I can do the encumbered build. I'm gonna stick to being encumbered. Let's pop the bomb here. I'm not gonna stick to being encumbered because what we're losing right now is... These stats. But the moment I'm about to get the level, I should try to get encumbered. Let's see what we get. Another whetstone. Wow. Wow. Helmet or gloves. We don't have gloves. Let's go with gloves. Although I could have rerolled those into everything is rare or something. Or maybe such items. I'm sticking to the idea of... We destroy these guys. Whoop. Avoid the spider. And that's a win. We got a lucky hit there because we're applying this debuff. Shoots triple shots now. Coming closer. The spider in general always runs wherever you are, so you want to stay like this and force it over to your side. And we got a win, very nice. The sword does more damage once again, I'm gonna repeat here. I'm gonna stick to the sword. I yeah, let's just stick to the sword. This should do a lot more damage than what I had. I should have switched in the first place. This looks like awesome. What is this? Plus one armor, godlike for us. I'm most likely gonna get the passive that says the more armor you have, the more damage you do. 50%. Is this the Praetor War Boots? Nope, it's a load capacity item. Ruthless hit chance at close range. This also needs a belt. Belt is an um, accessory, so I can either go with a ruthless hits. By the way, if I get this right now, I can equip it on the spot. Ruthless hits, belt and boots, and this is a uh, helmet and armor. I could full on do the Praetor plus the Worm. Praetor is you, your crits, grant you berserk. This is, no, I mean, honestly, I don't really want that. Increase magic find. Cool. Increase magic find is cool. One armor, that's useless. Uh, I would say one armor gloves. Fits the build. Yeah, I think one armor gloves is the play. We'll go with the fits the build play. As that's increased my damage, right? Like, let, I need to remember always, armor equals damage. Armor equals damage, for this guy specifically. Although I, I, I really, really, really want to do the over-encumbered thing. Nice, for sure. These should be destroying opponents now. 
Nice, destroy them, and we got ice weapon against... I mean, I have such a good weapon right now, it doesn't really matter. Let's roll these. Do I have such a good weapon? Because honestly speaking, you know what? Let's bomb this. Uh, I'm thinking about the fact that this is a two-handed weapon. I want to keep my shield. I, have, I want to have my shield. Double axe, useless, useless, and useless. Uh, it is what it is. I'm going to just get the one item that's going to give us the most money. Let's have it in the side. And let's go event for sure. This is you lose life to gain stats. Um, if this takes away these, then we're godlike. If this takes away these, then we're not that godlike. We're going to just run through this. This is the best event in the game. It gets shielding. Let's go. Oh, this is what... This is, we're going to waste everything here. Plus one strength. Dexterity. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, no. I should have been encumbered. No. Yes. Yes, we found the thing I wanted. You gain no more stats from strength, dexterity, or intelligence, but the penalties from exceeding your equip load are reversed. This is what I'm going to try. Two-handed weapons are counted as one-handed. I don't care about this. We're going here for sure. I've never done this. Now is the chance to do this. Now I should be encumbered because the stats don't matter anymore. Therefore, we no longer have a cap limit. Look at this. I do 15% more top-end damage, 30% more crit in chance. Just like that. Movement speed, 30% more. This is multiplicative, by the way. Stamina recovery, more multiplicative. Mana regeneration, more multiplicative. And now we're going to also wear this. Boom. Oh. That's it? That's the difference. No difference. So there is literally no... Unless, unless I need to close this and open it up again. Nope. There is no difference. Extremely disappointed. I don't want to lose my spirit hearts, so I'm going to drink this. And we're going to now continue on with this. Plus one strength. Plus one dexterity. Plus one strength. And I think we're good. Wait a minute, do I have something that says recover hide whenever you're repairing your armor? Who's not entering the floor? You know what? I'm not gonna go on. I'm not I, I don't want to this this can give us luck, by the way. That's what I'm thinking here. I if I eat these spirit hearts and my heart, then I can drink a potion and drink the heart. I can like waste literally everything. Do I want to waste my spirit hearts is my question, because I could get the thing that says in intelligence that your spirit hearts give you power, which is pretty powerful. I think I'm gonna... Oh, now it actually works correctly. 20 more, 40% crit chance, 50 movement speed, 50 stamina, 50 mana region. Nice. Does something happen if I switch these? Ah. Insanely encumbered? Massively encumbered. Because this doesn't count the shield. I'm seeing what's happening. Well, here we have the shield in. Why is it like that? Why is massively encumbered 15-30-30 and insanely is 20-40-40? And we are 120 out of 50, 80 out of 50, I see. So let's go with this. Uh, I would like to re-roll these and let's go on. Although I really want to like waste everything here. This really, really feels like something I want to do. Nah, let's stick to what I'm planning, which is these are going to become the spirit hearts give you power. So let's go with a melee weapon. I do need one. Nice, we are destroying opponents. Are we getting crits, by the way? I'm doing high-end damage on these boys. Nice. Let's see what I can get. We got the Hand Hunters. Gargoyle Tail Axe plus one. One-handed. Insane. This is an insane weapon. We got legendary. It has 30% increased damage to bosses. And does this damage. And Intimidate on crits. And I do have a crit chance. Intimidate is they take 3% more damage. This is borderline godlike that we found here. And do I want to go to Tavern? No, let's go Golden Chest. Uh, the weapon itself, as to how to use it, I wouldn't say is insanely busted. But the fact that we got the passive here... Do I even crit? What, what's going on with my crits? Am I not supposed to have a 7%? Ah! It says more, so it multiplies my crit chance. Okay, so it's not as good as I would have hoped. So I don't have crit chance at all. Let's repair my armor for free. Ding. And I even healed out of that. I should have drunk literally the whole thing, man. I should have drunk all of these. All of them. Uh, let's go summon a pet. I don't really want to craft anything. Should have sacrificed everything. Let's go flinging some axes. And boss's toast. I obviously need to find a better weapon, that's for sure. I need to find a weapon, to be honest. Like, if I find a weapon that gives us 10% crit chance or 20% crit chance, although the chance obviously is very slim, that's gonna get multiplied. We need to find something that gives us crit chance, so that, you know, whatever crit chance we're gonna have is gonna get multiplied. Uh, intelligence obviously does not give us stats anymore, so that's done. Percent movement speed, man. I would like to find from dexterity, movement speed gives you attack speed. That would literally combo within everything here. Also, your recovery speed becomes attack speed. Like, there are so many things that really fit. 
Time to increase damage dealt to bosses, and I can have two of these. Uh, stamina recovery speed. Oh, this is good because stamina recovery speed becomes attacks with the thing that exists. Equip load, definitely no. Increase damage. Nope. I'm gonna go here. How many of these can I have? One. Five percent damage. No. <laughs> We're gonna go here. Stamina recovery speed is what I want. I know the zombie arm seems to be more powerful. I mean, not seems is more powerful, but I want my stamina recovery. I'm I'm trying to get the thing I just said. I want to make stamina recovery gives you. Attack speed? I don't think that's the thing, actually. Uh, strength for sh... This is useless. I don't think the weapon even scales with strength anymore. As far as I know that this thing works. You know what? We can test this, actually. So right now I'm doing 200 to 482. 205, 493. Oh, so... So strength doesn't give us stats anymore. You gain no more stats from strength. Dexterity intelligence. But, but the weapons still get their damage boost up. Got two keys for a bomb. That's a good trade any day. Okay, money. Actually, we roll this. I roll this. Intelligence. Mm, now let's go lock key. Intelligence would have given us a level and therefore a passive. <laughs> that line appearing and then they should not doing anything. Love it. Bye bye you. Let's see what I get. Maybe a weapon, actually. Nice money and a weapon. Blacksmith hammer. This weapon gains 25% more damage from upgrade levels. Um, 20... 25% more damage from weapon upgrade levels. Wait a minute. 25% more upgrade is a lot. Because weapon upgrades give you 25%. At yeah, 10%, 10%. So this 25% is actually 12.5. Gold pine resin. Lightning for 10 rooms. I mean, I, I exaggerated there. Gold pine resin. And then it's like, yeah, it's just a resin. Let's actually stick to the hammer we're using. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Nice, got him. We're still at floor 3, so we have a bit of a reduced dashes right now. Because of the cinder upgrades. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Are we also gonna still only find strength stuff? Not really. All range damage is always considered to be close. No. You can stack, burn, and bleed up to 10 stacks. 50% less damage, though. Get harm to increase stats from strength and gain. Although I already don't gain anything. Uh, I would say here, right? Although I'm not even bleeding or burning. Yeah, I'm not doing any of these two. I would really re-roll. I want to find the thing. When you deal crits or ruthless hit, gain Berserk. Berserk is 35% more... No, no. Berserk is 20% more multiplicative attack speed. And I'm gonna increase my crits through what I already do. Uncommon start taking damage. No, natural... No, we're gonna go here. Natural damage rolls from you always roll minimum, but you get pets. No, 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 no. no. We're going here. Let's go with crits. Give us Berserk. Therefore, attack speed. Let's go Dexterity. So, obviously, we want to get as much crit chance as possible. Once again, not really a thing right now. I just need to find an item. <laughs> a thousand crit damage there. A thousand. Pawn shop, for sure. We want the money. And I also have trash items to sell. Uh, so, I'm thinking, 12.5%. Is this a good idea? Like, is this a good weapon? If I can make this plus four, it's going to be 40% more damage. And that's going to be 25% more of more. I'm getting 25% more damage from weapon upgrade levels. Multiplicatively. Mm, it really feels good for crafting it up. This is... Intimidate on hits. Intimidate is 30% more... No, no, no. We're sticking to this. Let's, let's sell this. Let's sell. Let's sell. I'm sticking to what I know is good. Switch weapons, please. And let's sell the blowgun. Can I sell the phoenix? Nope. Okay, uh, tavern, of course. We do have enough money for it to be worth it. I'm not gonna lose a life here for no reason. Actually, I wouldn't even lose the life. Eh, whatever. I could get the healing. How much are you selling this for? Ten. Nah, I'm gonna find it anyway. I don't care about that. I don't care about any of these either. Let's roll them, boys. I want the dice guy. That's the only guy that I care about. And here he is. I love you, man. Yeah, give me a dice and make us lawful. Once again, we're gonna go good fight. So, do I want to go crafting this? I don't think so. It's a hand hunter. What am I talking about? Let's go souls. That's half of a boss worth souls. I just need to increase my crit chance, man. And I obviously want to find more heavy items. Boots is something I don't have. Definitely go there. We need to get our weight up. Let's go. Smack, smack. Did I get a crit? Come on, give me crit. 7%. Did I get hit? It felt like I got hit, but I don't think I did. Okay, he is intimidated. Now they do take more damage. Nice. Let's drink the resin, actually. Just drink the resin. Stay away from me, boss. This is a hard-ish pattern. Hard-ish, not a hard. And we should be winning here. Go, go, monkey, shoot. 
Nice. We didn't get hit, so I'm gonna have four choices. I'm gonna get boots, and I'm gonna become even more encumbered. And I have 35 souls, so I could theoretically upgrade. Plus one health, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna spend money here. We're gonna go good, obviously, as we already are good. Plus one on good, and plus one on neutral. Maybe neutral is what we're gonna go with. On dropping a bomb, gain swiftness, movement speed, that is. Increase bomb damage, that's trash. On non-triggered lucky hit, so if I lucky hit pretty much. Summon an exploding dough. No. Anything that makes our less breaks when damage. What is this? Armor. And one use armor. Okay. Grand Spencer explosion damage. Increase area radius. I would like to reroll these. I do not enjoy this the boots. I'm gonna find other boots. Let's just get the stupid boots. Just to increase my weight limit. Is that gonna make us insanely encumbered even more? No, there is no more than insanely. Maybe there is more than insanely. I don't know. I do enjoy that this is green, by the way. Uh, yeah, there is no neutral. I would have gone neutral if it was. there was one. I would have gone lawful. There was a good chance to go lawful today, but we're gonna go good, I guess. Increase magic damage. Not something we care about. Grants two seconds of mobility. Also very useless. Increase attack speed. I'm gonna buy this. And I'm gonna get my plus five goodness later. We, we have time. I, I really don't care about the other two. They are very mediocre. Let's go. Two seconds of invulnerability, though. You could just straight up tank the boss or whatever. There is also a passive that says the more sh shields you have, the more damage you gain. So uh, we definitely... I think power, actually, which power is better than damage. Um, I think... I, I hope we're going to find that. There is no thinking. I just straight up hope. Let's go. I'm also with a little lightning pine resin. Uh, let's get a weapon. That's very often good. Actually, let's reroll these for stats. Uh, dexterity again. Uh, let's go dexterity. I do enjoy dexterity. Which provides us with nothing, by the way. <laughs> but the question is, what weapon are we going to use in the first place? Uh, we're fighting the Rat King here. I really don't enjoy these enemies. Like, I think from for, from between all the floor fours, this is the worst one. Rare weapons against the Mana Star. I think I'm okay with what I had. Let's go with the Mana Star. You never know when it's going to be important to actually have a bit of mana in the side. Stay away, please. Destroy the rats. Now the boss is going to be the Rat King, obviously, as we are fighting rats here. I should have gotten hit, but I was lucky there. We got him. Explode on death. Let's go. Pop the bomb to get the star. Get the star. Let's go on. Intelligence against the Mimic. We always, 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 always go Mimics. What is this? A magic. The other one is the... Oh, I don't have dashes. Oh, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> The one is the laser mimic, which may be first time I'm fighting this. Ooh, what is this? Okay, we gain more dexterity, more intelligence, more dexterity and more intelligence. And we get a candy scroll and a spark wand. So that was the magic weapon mimic, and the other one was the... Um, the obviously... Uh, what is it called? Give me a second, candy scroll. What does it do, by the way? On picking up master gains 10 stacks of sugar rush, which is movement speed increase. And attack speed increase. Now what the worst thing here. So I was trying to say the other one was the mimic that you lose life to. The lose life mimic, which is the best one by far. And not the mimic, the chest itself is the best one by far. The sacrifice one life or stats chest. And honestly, we have so much life here and so much shielding. I should definitely get those treasure chests whenever I get them as a choice. Repair or craft for that matter. Yeah, or a key. I mean, repairing is useless for us right now. A key, might as well go for the key. I'm not gonna craft this weapon. It's not gonna be my final weapon. My, my final weapon is, at minimum, gonna be purple. At maximum, legendary, obviously. But I'm at minimum, purple. Now, this thing, the only thing that this weapon I have right now does is that it uncrits, debuffs the opponent. That's it. We don't really have a good weapon. Excuse me? Chop from a 38, might as well. Oh, this is the crystal. Ooh! Ooh, I would like to do the crystal thing. 145, this is more expensive. I, I would like to really do the full-on crystal set. Do I have enough? If I have enough, I'm gonna do it. 18 plus 12 is already 30. And then 10 plus 9 is another... 49 is for everything. 49 for everything. I can't. 49 for everything is just straight up not enough. I could buy this, by the way, just to have it as an armor. This gives us plus one armor. For 9 coins, it's very cheap. Plus one armor. On taking damage, trigger seven crystals. I don't care about this aspect. I care about getting rid of this one. For the equipment, for a 50 equipment, and an armor piece. An armor gives us damage, so this is straight up better for us. For nine coins, that's cheap. Let's actually wear this. And uh, I'm still at insanely, so nothing really changed. But because I have one more armor piece, which is gonna actually equip next round. Let's go strength. 
We're gonna become even more powerful. Even more damage. Anything that gives us armor is good. Now, obviously, the best in slot for the armor piece is one that gives us plus three armor. That is a thing that exists. Plus three armor piece in the middle. Crystal armor equipped. Level up. Dun 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 bam bam bam. That's not the music it does, but that's what I do. Ancestral spirits. Attack speed. Attack speed is always your weapon's base attack speed. Or you can increase the effect of debuffs per point of equipment load on you. I mean, this is the play, right? 145%? Up to 200? Yeah, we're going here. And now, my Intimidate actually does 36% more damage to the opponents. Uh, I'm missing an accessory still, so often to accessory slot. Hopefully we're gonna find an accessory that's gonna increase my encumbrance. I'm not sure if there is more than what I already have, by the way. Now, the idea here is, we get lucky hits because we're applying the Radiant, and my lucky hits... What are you doing? And my lucky hits have a double the chance to roll into crits. And then when I crit, I intimidate, which right now the opponent, for example, is intimidated. And then after that, I guess we win. Dash through. Whoop, we crit the monster there. I think these explode on hitting. A nice, nice. We got a perfect on this fight too. We have my four shieldings. But right now, my base, my base weapon is 140 to 280. And my passive is 120 to 160. So you understand how crazy that is. Okay, we've got a helmet here, which is a Kabuto helmet, which I think is a tax or something. Grand Simpson crit hit chance to weapons of upgrade level 4 and higher. And th uh, this 20% is not 20, it's like, uh, how much more? 40% more, so this is about 28 or something. And it's also heavier than the one I have. No, it's the same weight, but I'm gonna lose an armor. No, no, I'm, I'm not losing armor, forget that. Grants 25% increased primary attack damage, but reduce secondary attack damage. I don't have secondary attack damage, and this is 5 equipment. Accessories most of the time do not have equipment limits. Offhand, Umbrella, I don't care about the Angry Cloud. Accessory, grants 5% chance, increase explosion damage per bomb you have. So if you have 100 bombs, it does... Nah, I don't care about this. I'm going here. I only do primary attack damage. I'm at 150 equipment load, insanely encumbered still. There is no higher than insanely, it seems. Maybe if I can get to 200 encumbered... I mean, no, 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 no. There is guaranteed up... I can guarantee go up to 200 weight. Guaranteed. Because this thing says up to 200 total, right? So that means you can somehow get 200. Definitely you can get 200. The boots 15, 20. 50, 20. I mean, the helmet could be 30. This could have been 10. So we definitely, you can definitely get more. Uh, I'm gonna not spend yet on fire. Let's go melee weapons. I'm still searching for something here. Whoa, that was a... Whoa! Avoided everything randomly, obviously. No flames on the ground here. Bye bye you. Man, the archers, by the way, I've just realized, are maybe the ones that hit you the most. Not these archers, any archers. The Separator. This weapon has 100% chance, a ruthless hit chance. And ruthless hit is that you have 100% more top end damage. Wait, what? Is this insane? This looks insane. The Separator plus 2. Oh, it's an axe too. Well, this is crits intimidate. This is 100% ruthless hits. So that means 100% more multiplicative top end damage. We go dice guaranteed. So if I ever top end damage here, opponents should be dying. Oh, a thousand damage there. A thousand. Without crits, by the way. Just to be clear. Avoid. This guy's throwing batteries at us. Whoa! Easy life. Survived everything. Got my 50,000 dice. And we're gonna go with a pop a bomb for items. No, I would say this roll these. Bombs. We're gonna go bombs as I'm running low. Everything is ruthless hit. Avoid. Don't we have a passive that says we gain Berserk when we ruthless hit? Didn't I get that? Am I not permanently Berserked? I am permanently Berserked. This might be even best in slot, if I can get a bit more attack speed though. I mean, where will I find the attack speed? I need to find the Dexterity movement speed gives you attack speed, but that's not gonna really happen. Anytime soon. Oh, avoid the dice, avoid the mice. The mice that shoot out. Buzzsaws. Let's get rid of the archer actually. Nice. The, the mice have some kind of passive that when you hit them, they run faster. That's what the mice do. Strength, key against money, I mean, roll these. Money is good in general. Ah, uh, no, roll these, roll these, roll these. Bombs, I'm gonna go bombs, I still want more. I think there was a secret room previously, but I lost it for half a second by not looking at it. I also want to do a huge AoE aura build at some point. Uh, which I have already done. Hopefully, card's gonna appear at the top right, showcasing that. Oh, with the Necromancer. Plus one heart, let's go! This can bring us into the tipsiness route. 
Yeah, I could go into the tipsiness route with max health. That would be nice. The tipsiness obviously giving us even more attack speed. Let's go here bomb him. I'm so stupid I could have bombed both. That was so, 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 so stupid. That's a weapon that I pretty much don't have. A prop knife. <laughs> Trusting damage and fears on hit. Fears 125% to minimum damage roll. What? 125% to minimum damage roll. This is godlike. Um, you know what? Let's actually just send one of these off. Yeah, let's send one of these off. What is this? Crap. No, we're gonna take this. Bring you this. So my idea is we do this. Pop him once. And then just fling these and they die. There was a triple bomb that I could have done. I just wasted three bombs in one area. So in the boss fight, I'm gonna be like, prop knife, boom, and then just fling axes and they're gone. Right, that's what I'm thinking here. Because 125% more top uh, low end damage, right? Not top end, low end. Here is 125% to minimum damage. Means that all my attacks are high end damage. Because 125 is pretty much double it. I mean, not all. I have a huge area of attack. Prop knife. 2,000 damage right there. That's how we're gonna beat the boss, man. We're gonna just stab him with a prop knife and then just explode him. Uh, bomb again. Man, I'm out of bombs already. That's sad. What is this? Demolition gloves. Explosion damage. Since when do I have demolition related things? What is this? What is this with? Boots. Unbelievable. Um, 25% reduced bomb explosion delay. Who cares? Really, who cares? Let's craft this weapon up to maximum. This is money. We're gonna go charm for sure. Helmet, no, we're sticking to the helmet. Let's go charm. I'm gonna stab, stab, and then go, go smack him to death. He's taking a thousand damage. He's taking a thousand damage, two thousand crits. The void, nice, got him. The mice are still on the board, that's not good. I, I couldn't stab him. Okay, I stabbed him, so he has the fear debuff. And he is dying. Nice, nice. Whoop, I'm, whoop, I void. Got him. Got him. Easy enough. I mean, this weapon being plus four, this is a good weapon. Harmson Ruthless Hit Chance combos with this thing because I'm always ruthless hitting. This, therefore, I get Berserk. Maybe if I get... Now I should maybe get the 50% less chance to crit. Uh, you can no longer crit. Which is... We're gonna still keep the top end damage, movement speed, and stamina recovery. Oh, what is this? Grandson perhaps increase effect to your debuff stats effect. No, not really. My, my Mine is better. It's, it's more heavy. I don't care about this. I don't care about... Wait. 50% lucky hit chance, but it's an accessory and it doesn't weight anything. 50% is decent. Ah, 5%, but it's free. Let's go with 5%, but it's free. Because it's back there. Let's go. I want to go to 200 weight limit. Can I please start getting some heavy items? Please. I'm gonna still keep all my souls. Let's go, Dex. There is no rush. There is no rush. What I really want to get is the tipsiness debuff buff now. Because I'm thinking how much more max life I'm gonna get. And how many buffs we're gonna get out of that. We're gonna most likely go attack speed tipsiness. If I can find it. And also I would really, really like to find a good old sell all your items thing. Rare weapon. We already have a weapon. I don't have bombs for that. That's very sad. Said item, I don't want that. Let's go with a weapon. I don't have room though. But, ah, let's get it. It's money still. Big chomp. I do enjoy this. Hits twice, does a million damage. How much does this do? This does 218 to 575 baseline. This does 651 to 1631 baseline. And we do high-end damage. Partisan, that's an offhand. Forget that existing. Uh, it's it's two-handed, I mean. Divine Coral Flail. Divine gives radiant damage. Primary attack, spin three flails that deal striking damage. As a secondary attack, shoots bubbles. At a decent amount per second. I would really like to take this flail. It does so much high-end damage. It attacks per second very, very slowly. But it hits twice. And it hits for insane amounts. I think this is a play. Uh, let's throw away the crappy blue item. Give me this. Try this. I know it's very slow. It seems very small, by the way. But it's huge when we get to the fight. Mimics, obviously, is the choice. Uh, it missed. Unbelievable. Boom. Boom. Hit it. Hit it again. Avoid. No. Got him. Got him. <laughs> and we got another one of these. Scale your stats. And a three dexterity charm might as well. And we found a giant slayer and a vorpal blade. Crits it with this weapon. Grant supersonic. 
Supersonic is doubles the attack speed. And it has a lucky hit chance. Man, this is also really awesome. I'm finding so many awesome stuff. So much awesome stuff. Can I see this in action? It's a two-handed. Forget that. That doesn't exist. Um, another two-handed. Giant Slayer. I want to sell things. I want to throw away things that are blue. That's a prop knife. Is this good, though? Oh, well, I'm going to sell it anyway. And we'll keep this and this. I think the chomp is good. I might be wrong. Let's switch these, by the way. And uh, let's go on. Banana stays for sure. I mean, I don't need the Phoenix Feather. And I can also not sell it. So I don't care about it. Give me the prop. Uh, give me the web. Not that it's going to sell for more. Money. And now nah, we have so much money in the bank. Dexterity, let's go. Also a level. Hit him. I'm not sure this weapon is as good. Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure. Well, oh, stay away. It does more damage than the rest do. It does more damage than the rest do. Boom. Boom. And hitting twice is good, obviously. Chomper, get him, boy. Get him, boy. Boom! Got him. Nice. <laughs> dun, 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 What we got? Your attacks always do high-end damage. You can oh, power based on how many actors. On taking damage, on defeat, an ally gain adrenaline. Adrenaline is increased damage. 200% damage instead of attack speed. Uh, I mean, I have 5% plus 20. Is, is this 20 multiplicative? Does this mean I'm going to be doing 20 multiplicative damage? Times 200. This is more damage. This is more attack speed, pretty much. I mean, I'm getting the more attack speed because of Berserk. I'm thinking about stacking damage on damage on damage on damage and being like a big hit guy. Because that's what it looks like right now. So maybe this really, really fits. <clears throat> yeah, that's 20% multiplicative damage. I'm taking this. And who knows how more I'm going to get anyway. I'm doing 1,794. We've gone from the bounce shop. Very nice. Should I YOLO it? This weapon has ruthless hits. Was there a downside to this? No, I don't gain attacks anymore. That's the downside. I think we're gonna stick to the chomper. Which seems to be doing insane. Yeah, let's let's sell stuff. I'm taking the gamble here, switching the build around. Sell everything. I'm not gonna keep this. This go yeah. Everything goes. Everything goes. Everything goes. Everything goes. We're making money now. What about this either? These boots are extremely stupid because obviously I will find the other thing again. I think I'm gonna just sell these, man. I hate them. I hate these boots. I lose. I lost a bit of stats because I sold them, but I'm, I'm not gonna use them, man. I, I I don't like them and I don't want to find the set item again because the game works like that. Spool shop is a guaranteed no magic item. It's also guaranteed no bombs are yes. Boom boom boom. Wait, that hits only twice. Dash through. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna get hit. Guaranteed getting hit here. Yeah, nice. I should also see what side I should be rotating through. I think I should be rotating towards this side always. So that this hits more often. Like, I should always move, rotate the left side. Nice, the tavern's here. We have so much money the tavern's worth. Unstoppable baseball hat. This weapon gains 100% cr crushing hit when, uh, with lucky hits. Unstoppable makes it less chance for... We do less non-perfect damage. Crushing hit is always high-end damage. Right? And we do insane high-end damage. So... Yeah, we're good, Tavern. Anti-curse and goodness. This also gives us goodness. He sells it literally for one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna buy three of these, I would say. So I can go into cursed rooms without actually having any downside whatsoever. That's how we're gonna play this. And I do want to go to the tipsiness idea. So is this guy selling the attack speed? Sake is 5% melee crit hit chance. Oh, yes. Because this is not 5%. This is a lot more than 5%. Uh, drink all of these. Sip, sip, sip. Sip, sip, sip. And I'm gonna go even higher into these. I'm gonna buy one more. Do you give attack speed, by the way? Wine is terms increase damage. Terms increase damage. And lucky hit chance. No. The attack speed is a guy over here. Let's actually go with reroll these. And now I would like to get the dice boy. Dice boy is not here. We roll again. Uh, although the tavern just changed, so let's maybe check here. Whiskey is now in the shop, which is 5% increase attack speed. Well, that's a no still, because there is a barbarian that gives you 10% increase attack speed, but only for melee weapons. Dice boy is here. Dice boy. 
Let's give me my dice. And uh, do I want another curse? I would say no. I'm gonna get plus two life from... No, I'm not. I'm mostly gonna get plus one life. I think I'm okay with one Saka. That's my crit chance right now. It's already 28%. Nice. Uh, I mean, I can't buy any more Saka anyway. What did you roll into? Ecula! And 5% crit, multi crit hit multiplier. Nah. Let's go. I'm gonna keep my 26 coins. Exterior is a good choice. Nah, let's go Chomper. Let's go AoE. Without needing to be anywhere. I dashed twice there. Boom, got him. Go Chomper. Boom. Go Chomper. Boom. <laughs> Very slow weapon. P boots, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I was expecting this boss. We knew that actually. Had nothing to do with expectations. Okay, by the way, by attacking with this weapon, if I get a lucky hit chance, it's a ruthless hit. Is that a good idea? I'm not sure. We did the underground thing. Nice. I'm saying nice because I'm not going to have it later. Now we're gonna do the the crackness in the middle one. Let's see if this does more. Boom. Boom. No, I think it does less. Boom. Boom. A thousand damage. Boom. Again. Missed him. I'm missing the boss, man. That weapon is very mediocre. <laughs> I should have kept my previous weapon that I had. The axe thing. Need to loop around again. Double dash there, but it's okay. We have very good stamina recovery. I need to go the opposite side, so that the thing while rotating... I, you do not want to go counterclockwise to your rotating thing. I think it's better to stay close to one's area. Didn't I? I got hit. No, I got hit. I thought I had a perfect there. Got him. 1,600 damage there. I wouldn't say this is a good weapon. It's a bit sad that I got hit. I'm gonna lose the four pedestals, but I don't care about the first one. Common? Are you serious? Two twos? <laughs> How boots? Not that's nice. The rubber boots. Haste whenever you make it rain. Yeah, this is the rain thing. Cold damage, companion, increase movement speed. I don't want that, man. Damage delta dragons, no. On dash gain tiny dancer. Tiny dancer gives 10% dexterity. 10 dexterity is borderline nothing. I'm gonna roll these. I'm gonna roll these. I'm gonna hope that the first one's gonna be a good one. Let's see how this can go. Come on. Yes! Worth it. And this is gonna make me feel sad, I'm pretty sure. Plus one block, yep, it will. 20 strength! Yes! I got the best one possible. I got mm, the best possible boots. I'm not even gonna look at the other thing. Once again, I don't gain things from strength, but I still do gain damage from strength. Good job, obviously. We're a good run. Oh, damage based on how good you are. This is the best thing for a good run. And this does not equipment load, but still, it's, it's the best in slot, man. Straight up. Best in slot for a good one. I'm at 80% damage from this alone. Friends, less chance for curses to work. I don't care about this. Increase the mental damage. I mean, right now, I'm already at good plus 4. But I will buy the cheaper of the two, which is this for 12. Will I find another one of these good ones? I think I will. I'm taking the gamble that I will find another good one. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm finding one here. I think at 9. I think you find them at 3, 6, 9. So, I'm gonna now say plus 1 to hearts. As I do have time until the next one. Come on, go. Plus one to hearts. And I'm gonna also drink the tipsiness right away. Sip, sip, sip. I'm at four. Let's go strength melee weapon. Maybe I'm gonna find something that's better than the stupid thing I chose to go with. The fact that I got the 20 damage boosts, man. I'm so happy about that. I should be left rotating. Rotation to the left. Boom. I don't enjoy this weapon. Emblem is equipped. Now I do insane damage. He gave me a good old tomahawk for sale. Bombs against key bombs, obviously. We're running low. Also, keys are wasted a lot slower. Now, I, sh I should have just gained insane damage, by the way. Boom. How much damage am I doing? Come on, hit him. Come on, hit him. Boom. 3,700 damage. Mimics. Double mimics, that is. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. That's the golden chest. And that's the nothingness. What is this? What is this one? Is this the magic weapons? Bonjo. Pan flute. This is the music weapons, I guess. Sound damage inflicts fragility. Fragility is 130% more damage over time. I don't care about that. Nope. Bombs. A spirit heart. Drink this. And another anti-curse. Plus one maximum tipsiness. Most godlike thing we could have gotten. I don't need that much anti-curse. I'm sorry. Let's go. Uh, resin against melee weapon. I'm still gonna go with melee weapon. I'm still searching for something that actually is good. Although we're still a bit early. 
about you? What about you guys? A thousand, fifteen thousand damage! Disenchanting Saber, and it's plus three, so it's gonna sell for a lot. Uh, I would say I sell the crappy Tomahawk plus one. And let's see what we got in here. Maybe a secret underground room? Nope. Disenchanting Runic Sword plus one, that's also money. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna sell one of these. It only costed me five, it's not like I'm wasting that much money by doing that. And against a switch, nope, let's roll them. Bombs against strength, I'm gonna go strength. Instant kill, not instant kill. Whoop. Boom, 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 boom. Everything died in one swift hit. Craft. I don't have enough money to craft. I don't want to craft. Multiple potions, a bunch of buffs, that is. Roll them. Dex, yeah. I do want your movement speed becomes attack speed. And then because the attack speed becomes damage. 4,000 damage right there. Whoop. Does the black hole damage me? Man, this was a 7,000 crit hit. 1,000. <laughs> My pet is doing nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Tavern. Booze. I mean, this is a curse. Do I don't have money for the tavern. I'm gonna roll these. Both of these are useless to us. Uh, booze is not useless to us. The curse is, though. It's a hard choice. Let's roll them. Now we're going booze. And I'm getting rid of the anti-curse. And I'm assuming, and I'm hoping that because I have enough strength, we're gonna find the boozes forever and also double the stats. I'm just waiting to not get hit. Okay, got him bye-bye. No, got him bye-bye. And we got whiskey, which is attack speed, and whiskey, which is another attack speed. Let's drink this. Get the whiskey with us, drink it. And keep this with on us. Money against another melee weapon. I mean, I still have not found the weapon of choice, so we're still going for this thing. Although dragon weapon is the one I should have gone with, but whatever. I should always keep a key, by the way. I missed. Got him. Pop a bomb. The boss gonna be the dragon, by the way. That's useless. It's it's a slow one. The super useless. Charm against accessory. We're gonna go charm, obviously, as I'm missing one. Let's go. Now, this fight should not go that well. F, actually speaking. Whoa, slam. Whoa, slam. Whoa, slam. Got him. Whoa, slam. Always go rotational against the boss here. And now he's gonna start chasing us. Does he do predictive shots? It really feels like he's doing predictive shots. Now got him, got him, got him. Got my 12 souls. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Why is this five and four? This is five. Oh, it's one whiskey and four uh, other ones. What is this? Dexterity? Yeah, I know. It's physical damage. I mean, yeah. You can increase weapon damage, but you reduce attack speed. No, 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 no. Uh, on dash, your primary next primary attack deals guaranteed crits. No, I don't think so. Let's, let's just get the physical damage. I mean, slashing, thrusting, whatever. This is striking, so this is this is my weapon. Let's go on. So now, though, my weapon does 285 to 595, and my radiant is 120 to 160. These are base numbers, as far as I understand. So that's why we do so much, so, so insane damage. I mean, just to be clear, the best slot weapon for this guy is a weapon that attacks extremely often and extremely fast, so that you can get your value out of this. Just to be clear, I would say key against the strength. We, we, we know for a fact that in this game, you gain so many levels throughout the run, especially late game, where there is no real reason for you to actually force levels. Now I'm gonna go for the level, of course. But in general, it's not that oh, oh, important to force the levels. I'm dashing. Man, the dash recovery speed really is helping. Look at this. Boom, boom, and back, back. Ah, it's good, it's good. Oh, perfect. Perfect spot for the secret, even. Unicorn. Potent unicorn. This weapon grants 100% lethal hit. Lethal hit is double damage on lucky hits. Potent is increased top end damage. 5,000! This is the new weapon of choice. Dojo stash. This is just a blue item. Do I still have all my buffs? Yeah, I'm still tipsy 5. Yeah, we're sending off the the simple blue item. This is my new weapon of choice. No, it's a two-handed weapon. I hate that this is a two-handed weapon. I mean, right now it's giving us more damage, so we're sticking to this. No, we're not. Let's go. No, we're not. No, we're not. Straight up. Straight up, we're not. <laughs> oh, the boss is gonna be the this guy, the mage. Nice. Got a level. Dun 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 dun. Don't give me the two-headed thing. Critical hits, chance zero, but you always crashing hit. 
Tally of 10 primary attacks, gain trigger mania, trigger mania trigger stuff. Your hits with striking damage inflict instability. Trigger a shockwave on hit. Striking damage is most likely my stupid thing, that's why I, I got that. Yep, striking damage. I'm not gonna stick to striking damage. 70% more top end damage and 78% less low end damage. <laughs> this really sounds insane to me. Is this the play? Like, we go with striking. What else would I like to get? I mean, right now, this chomper thing really seems to be working out. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. And I'm gonna get now a Christmas plus 3 strength. So right now, if this hits, it should destroy them, right? Did I get hit? I got hit. Yeah, so the first hit does the debuff. The second hit kills. <laughs> if it even hits. We got the curse. Get rid of the curse right away. Pawn shops here, money time. You're out. You're out. You're out. You know I want the tipsiness, by the way. The tipsiness buff. So the last level is going to be the tipsiness buff. Uh, uh, yeah, this. You are over there. Banana still here. Money against crafting. I mean, this is only plus one. You know what? I'm going to keep that for a while. I I do heal fully at the end of floor, right? Recover her. Yeah, fully repair armor at the end of floor. So I, I don't need to waste a bomb. What happened? I don't know what happened. Craft this up. Craft this up again. And craft this up again. Do I want that actually? Yeah. For the time being. And I'm even healing. I didn't even lose anything out of that. Let's pop the bomb. And I even heal. <laughs> what do you sell? Rocket launcher. Heavy machine. Uh, uh, no explosion. Who cares? This is a kite shield. Which is literally the same stats with the one I have. Dexterity. Whatever. Stay crossbow, whatever. No. Tavern? Yes. Uh, we found a bomb boy. Bomb boy. Yes. 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 And, uh... I guess let's buy a boost in case. Which... Is damage over time. It is multiplier. I guess I can have, like, two beers with us. In case... We don't get things in time. Let's get, like, one beer with us. I also have a whiskey with me. Uh, roll for dice boy? No. So hard, I guess. We have so many. Everything just died. <laughs> hey, boy. And boom. <laughs> Level up. Curse against the helmet. No. I don't need helmets. I would like to get a... This? No. No boots. Is... I want gloves. Or everything is epic or something. Melee weapon. Let's go melee weapon. Ooh, boom. Ooh, boom. Oh, this is a hard pattern to avoid. Unless you're close to him. Um, and one more hit. I've never seen these patterns, by the way. And now we're gonna play in the hard mode. You just move towards the right very slowly. That's it. You just move towards the right very slowly. Very slowly. And now, I'm, and now I'm gonna see something I've never seen before, ever. Hit him. Nice. Woo. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever seen that thing there at the end. Oh, you get this at floor 8. Okay, that's good to know. The door's here at floor 8. I got hit previously on the red shield. That's why we lost that. And I got the yellow weapon here and another yellow weapon. I would like to get striking damage, by the way. Ah, this inflicts bleed. I could have done infinite bleeds and lucky hit chance. This is really good for us. Could have been really good for us. And 5 attack speed. 3 attack speed. Crit hits with this weapon. Grant a bone splinter. I'm not crit. I do crit. Primary attacks consume one bone splitter. Is this strike? No, that's slashing. This is slashing, and this is also slashing. No, we're rolling these. I don't have to roll. Well, I guess I'm gonna get not the crappy, the happy, and plus two. <laughs> and this is the weapon. Once again, it's two-handed, so I'm not gonna wear that ever. We're sticking to the thing I'm doing. Good shop, obviously. Okay, this is a pet right. No revive, who cares? Evade, that's decent. Please, orbital speed. Yes, this here is an orbital. 25% is godlike for us. Lucky hit chance, dexterity, you're out. You join. And now I just got harms and damage. And now this goes faster. This is an orbital. 56, you see? 0 0.56 attack speed. Without this, 0 0.50. Huge difference. <laughs> As if three decks is gonna make anything better. <laughs> I don't even gain anything from stats in the first place. Let's go strength. Waboom. Waboom. I don't feel powerful, is what I have to say. I don't feel powerful. I need a better weapon. I got hit because I'm sleeping. It's okay, though. We have so much shielding. Let's go bombs. Let's 
go roll him. Let's go reward. No, but let's go roll him. Yes. You see? That's why you roll him. Yeah, I wouldn't say I love what we have here. But it is what it is. We have a yellow weapon. That's why we don't do that much busted things. Come on, double the tipsiness. Double the tipsiness. Epic weapons. Let's go. Please, a striking one. From Gonchaku. Primary attacks, flails that do striking damage. This weapon is also considered a ranged and a gun and a melee and everything pretty much. And secondary attacks, shoot bullets that deal thrusting damage. Kind of like this. Colossus Machete. Each point of strength grants no crushing hit chance with this weapon. Because, you know, we don't gain stats from strats. It is what it is. And this weapon has a harm with Ruthless hit. Ruthless is high-end damage. Dragon launch, Dragon Slayer launcher. It's thrusting. I mean, it's a two-handed, therefore no. This is not a two-handed. We go Gunshaku. And I'm assuming Gunshaku is straight up better than the one we have. Let's go. Yeah, this is straight up better. <laughs> this is actually very good. <laughs> this is actually a very, very good weapon. <laughs> let's go ball. Let's go random loot. I got a really, really good weapon now. And because this loops fast, the 25% faster looping speed actually is good. Is there a legendary looping weapon? If there is a legendary looping weapon, I would like to have it. I find a Sin Bible on the spot the <laughs> moment I find the legendary. Let's go pop a bomb here. Three keys for a bomb. Obviously, God trade. Repair armor and upgrade the nunchaku. Yes. Lose life. Get the life back. <laughs> 15. And another 20, I guess. And just like that, I'm out of money. Plus two bombs or a shop. I mean, shop's useless. Let's go plus two bombs. The good thing with the gunshaku is that it even hits a lot. And because it hits a lot, let's not forget, the faster we attack, the more value we gain out of my scaling beef against consumables. I mean, consumables is good, but beef for the level. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Should have gone for the consumables. Ah, oh, look at this. I didn't even do anything. It is hitting them anyway. Obviously, my good damage is coming from us hitting them with the guns themselves. But even the bullets are really helpful. I love this weapon. Each point of useless. Your hits with body damage inflict bleed and trigger your on taking damage effects. Cool item passive. On lucky hits, shoot out a radiant thing. No, we're rolling into um, tipsiness. After non attack, nothing. Tally of 8 melee attacks. No, 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 no. Tipsiness, tipsiness. 20% attack speed, which is 20% damage. Uh, which is 40% damage. Now I'm still sticking to my tipsiness thing. Ailments inflicted by non crits have arms increase effect. Ailments inflict. Ailments. Are these things ailments? Like, are intimidate ailments? Do I even intimidate? What do I even do? I do one kind of debuff, but I don't remember from what I get that debuff. Well, you know what? I'm gonna roll even the last one. Your hits against bleeding is big vulnerability. Harms increase stats. On dash, gain full stacks. It's again, nobody's bleeding. Vulnerability is insane though, 52% damage. So I'm forced to take this. On dash, gain full stacks of Tailwind and trigger your own combat start. Tailwind is 20% attack speed because it's full stacks. Actually, this is good. This is when I dash, I gain 20% attack speed, 20% movement speed, and 20% orbital speed. Uh, at, and the stacks light last for 8 seconds. I'm dashing often enough for this to be actually worth it. Like this goes like this, and then if I dash, it actually goes faster. And I also gain increased damage boost. Yeah, I mean, look at our damage before this. Come on, go away, please. Uh, 640 to 1,700. Boom, 228 here and 85. This is this, this was actually really good, no jokes. I didn't get the tipsiness thing I wanted. Oh, I'm, I'm running out of tipsiness. Let's drink. Let's drink uh, the six. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Boom, five. Uh, melee weapon, no. Tavern also, no. Uh, consumables. This can have crafting on it. This can have stat gain on it. This can have a lot of things on it. Well, this can still have things. Bombs. Dashing. Enchanting. What is this? Nothing. Enchanted. Boom. Impotent. Potent is increased top and damage. Yes! I don't want any of these. Definitely the left one. Strength, yes. Strength is damage, by the way. Top and damage, obviously, godlike. Th was that 11,000? Or was it 114,000? I think it was 11,000. It doesn't make sense to be uh, that much more. Boots. Boots are the best in slot. Accessory is also the best in slot. That's a reroll. Everything is legendary. Go. Everything is legendary. Go. Everything is legendary. Go. 
Everything is epic, fair enough. I'm accepting it. Let's go. Machine gun this boy, doom, boom, boom, boom. You're invulnerable and you're also at 10 stacks of... Man, everything fits together. We are applying vulnerability on the opponent, which makes them... Um... Wait, what is... Oh, come on, man. I, I didn't have the perfect one anyway. I already had... I've gotten hit previously. The fact that I don't even care, man. That once again, there is a passive that says you gain... I dashed. That's why I didn't get hit there. There is a passive that says you gain power based on how much shielding you have, which obviously, unluckily enough, we didn't get. I don't think we want to throw anything out. We are still doing ruthless hits. We are gaining, we are gaining this thing. We are still debuffing opponents. And we still gain decreased damage from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally everything fits. What is this? You do more damage to evilness. No, useless. Three armor, body armor. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. And because it's epic, it's the heavy version. <laughs> And this is legendary. Plus one block and plus one armor, self repair armor on completing an encounter room. Oh, this is straight up better than that, but obviously I don't care about it. Let's go here and equip this. And just like that, we have a lot more armor, therefore a lot more damage. And because we're heavier, we also get more encumbrance. Nope, there is no more. I still do more debuffs though, so obviously completely neutrally busted. Let's go on. Let's go on. Am I recording? I am recording. Imagine if I didn't. And I even healed here. Nice. Resin against Elgin's Let's go resin. That's damage. Yep, yeah, avoid. Uh, once again, I should continue rotating towards the right. I should always rotate right side so the loops happen better. Machine gun them. And we got the electricity one. Let's drink it, why not? Set item or against multiple potions, let's roll those. Uh, yeah, let's maybe re-roll a trait specifically. Actually, let's see what we get. That's the most important aspect here. Okay, here I would say rotating right side is not a good idea. But it's okay. Got him, got him, nice. So, teachings and dexterity. Did you in combat periodically gain a stack of precision? That's crit chance, and if you crit, then for one second it maintains self. No razor. Slashing damage from you and your opinion, uh, you and your companions inflict rupture. Rupture is more physical damage taken. I don't do slashing damage, this is striking damage. And my companion also do not. Yeah, this is also striking damage. So, these are both useless. I would say we go with multiple potions. That's just a million buffs. A million buffs is always a good choice. They run out another buff. I don't think I did. Pushing on everything to death. Whoop, arrow shots. Avoid the arrow shots. Got them, boys. Get it? By the way, how much is the debuff thing? 170%. What is applying the debuff? This thing. 81% more top end damage. And also more low end damage. Let's drink these. Boom, boom, go. I got an orbital. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Dexterity. This gains from dexterity, right? Yep. Let's not forget the weapons still gain their stats. I don't gain their stats. Dex. Event. Always go event if you have a choice for event. And this is reroll one of your talents. And I'm thinking about rerolling this one. Although it gives us 20% of the things I care about, this guarantee stays. This also guarantees stays. This always is happening. Right? Because I have. How did I do ruthless hits? Do I do ruthless hits? Does this actually stay? Do I get, I mean, we have crit chance. No, 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 no. We, do, we, we have crit chance. I'm always uh, enraged. Debuffs. We apply debuffs. This definitely... Does this stay? We have 20% increased attack speed. And this just gives us 40% damage. Instead of giving us 20% attack speed, we gain for... I think this is not worth it. Although it actually comes with berserking. Maybe it is worth it. If... I'm like on a 50-50 on that. I mean, this also gives us 20%. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I dash here, I can even see this going up to 40. I still believe that the tipsiness giving us double buffs is better. So let's try to roll into the tipsiness one. This is a gamble, yes, obviously. But I'm accepting the gamble. Let's go with tipsiness buff, please. Tipsiness is permanent and you get double the stats from tipsiness. So that's what I try to get here. I didn't roll it, but I can roll again. 20% increase attack speed is here. Let's roll him. Gain harms and increase buff effects. Increase effects and duration of mana stat. No, 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 no. On combat start, on taking damage, perform the war cry that taunts on enemies. 94% more damage at close range. I'm not doing close range build. It's generate rage. This is better than the previous one. Rage is... Uh, rage is 4% attack speed. So this is 40% attack speed. And 40% attack speed is 80% damage. 
Unlucky like hit ice, who cares? On dash, trigger an ancestral goat. No, we're going here. Primary attacks, do rage. And this for another 10 souls would have done the same event effect, but no, we don't have that. Let's go. So now I very, very fast gain the rage buff. And the reason why it's very, very fast is obviously because this weapon is shooting a million machine guns out. Yeah, this is my rage buff here. Oh, I need to hit. No, I need to hit with the nunchaku itself. Oh, that's bad. I thought it was actually good. It's not good. I don't care about the tavern right now. Oh, needing to hit with an Anchaku makes this a lot worse. No, I was on 10 stacks here. It's, it's good. Legendary weapon, maybe. Might happen. I mean, most of the time that thing gives you a legendary weapon. Let's see. Boom. I mean, it is. <laughs> I got it. Primary deals a million damage, inflicting and inflicts a stack of shock. The stacks of shock inflict by this weapon double the effect. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is useless. Do I have... I drink this. Can I see this in action? Okay, let's go strength. Can I see this in action, actually? Yeah, forget that. I almost got hit, but I didn't. Nice. <laughs> 30,000 damage. Let's go consumables. Might something worthwhile. Left side rotation. Got him. And we found plus one to dipsiness. Drink that and drink this. Super sad that I never found the dipsiness thing, man. Super, 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 super sad. Super sad. I mean, I can still get it if I'm lucky enough. I just need to find the same event I just found. <laughs> Obviously, that means I'm not gonna find it. Everything is rare, and now we're gonna go with everything is legendary. I'm gonna roll that. Here we go. <laughs> you have to believe in luck, man. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Let's drink a dodge. Because I'm about to get something anyway. Whoa. We don't do as crazy damage as I've done before in this game. You know that for a fact. I got hit. No, I lost the choice for four legendaries. So sad, so sad. Should have just dashed. I'm out of dashes. Dash again. And we got him. Nice, nice. I'm so sad we got hit there. We lost the quadruple choice. It's okay though, it's okay. We're still Three choices are still good. So now I would like to find gloves, if possible. I don't have a golden dice though, so this is one choice only. Okay, helmets. No, uh, gloves. Rockets, what is this? 100% increased stat granted for potion buffs. No, plus one armor is better, sorry. Um, what is this? Accessory. No, 100% damage is better. On, on triggering a lightning tr trigger, gain a stack of Volt Surge. Volt Surge is a buff that stacks up to 10 times and gives you insane, 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 insane amount of damage. This is 50 to 1000 damage at full stacks. Do you really realize how this bust this is? Triggering a lightning trigger. We're not gonna get that, though, because we're sticking to what we have. This definitely stays. Lucky hit, cursed, crits, ruthless, crushing. So, so this rotates between always lucky, always cursed, always crits, always ruthless, and always crushing. I think this is really powerful. Increased stats of potion buff stats effects. I mean, I have potions right now, but it's not that good. Very sad choices. I will get this, I guess. And if I find... You know what, yeah, if I find... What's my potions right now? Increase attack speed. 20%. Yeah, let's go with that. It's better than one more armor, because one more armor is what? Just a bit of radiant damage. I'm going guaranteed goodness. Let's go, high heavens. High heavens! Off we go. Give me, give me one sec, please. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the jump in the music. Can't really do anything about it. Let's go stats, I would say. Uh, yeah, against the key for sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking about. I really wouldn't say we are very powerful. Although, we definitely have enough AoE for me to not care about what's happening. With the chance, guaranteed, yes. That I should not have bombed that, by the way. Uh, I mean, I have 8 bombs. I don't care about what the bomb is. Uh, I will continue rotating around. On that I need to stay as much in the middle as possible so that both of the nonchaku are inside the zone so that they shoot bullets inside the zone are there no secret rooms in these non crits no we're critting mostly let's roll these ah no booze 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 I am uh, I'm low on booze right I can have up to six and right now we are at five so definitely go booze Watching guys these boys by the way, in these rooms you can find home things. So let's hope we're gonna find some tomes and one of them is gonna be that the boost buff. Tequila, critted damage. 
trinkets. Tipsiness is even higher. Bombs against crit hit mode. Obviously, we're going to crit hit multiplier. Whoop. Avoid the madness that's have an instant win. Very nice. Get some crit hit chance. What's my crit hit chance as, as of this moment? 42%. Really nice. Another legendary weapon, maybe. Might happen. Might happen. Most of the times, these always give you legendary. Most of the time, always. And I Sith just got hit. Therefore, we're going to get those choices. And I got hit twice, even. <laughs> Who cares? We are borderline damage immune. 97,000. 97,000. I just almost did a million. Dragon Slate, Great Sword. I had that as a choice previously. Ah, throw this out, I don't know. He's against. No, these are useless. Random stats. Potions are actually doubled, so might as well go with potions. Against the stat. Okay, and the potion is. Increased damage. Let's go. Mana refund useless. Contains equipment also useless. Uh, no, not not actually useless. Nah, it is pretty useless. Might find the glove. I don't know. Might find the glove. Who knows? If the nunchaku hits the opponents, they're dead. Otherwise, it, it takes a while. Boots. Nope, that's useless. We're not gonna pick this up. Let's go. Keys. I I stuck there because I wanted to maybe reroll, but no. Let's go on. Boss time. Boss time. Boots. No. Range weapon. Also, no. This is everything is legendary. Boom. Everything is legendary. Boom. And I guess if we go for a charm. Or a companion this late in the game. What's the charm I wouldn't like to have? I enjoy my charms. Let's go with companion. I mean, it's good to have the recovery companion, but maybe I'm going to find the orbital companion or something. Oh, we definitely don't do crazy damage. But we also definitely are not afraid of losing, because I got hit already, so I don't care about getting hit again. Wait, I just dashed into the star and it hit me. Bahamut, you're dead. Come on, don't do a pattern that makes you immune. He did a pattern that makes him immune. Once again, I can get hit up to two more times without losing literally anything. Nice, let's go. Let's go Bahamut. Turn two. Now he's gonna start... Flying around, right? Oh, he skipped the flying around because because he actually did the pattern where he leaves the stage uh, early. Nice. So we skipped the flyby. Now he's gonna go for the sideways shots again. Nope, that's the flyby. Wait a minute, what? Always stay away from him, by the way, when he does the flyby. Oh. Just stay away from him. That's it. Easy enough to... Ah! Well, I can get hit one more time. Might as well get hit here on purpose. I tried to get hit on purpose and he died. Was that 33 million or something? I, I didn't see. I mean, definitely not million. The reason I don't care about getting hit is because it's a one or done. Like, if you get hit once throughout the fl whole floor, then at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you get hit again. Is this 13% damage? Based on how much money you have. Range damage. Sound damage. Ooh, I have an obsidian dice. I think Rage is good enough. Uh, I'm gonna get the money for 13% damage, although it doesn't really matter. I need to pick something up here. 15% damage with money or stamina recovery speed. I mean, obviously stamina recovery speed. I should have kept the dodges for the next boss. I don't know what I was thinking there. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go into the final boss of goodness. Of goodness. Shock the opponents and double the stats of shock. Yep, I did it. I did it, man. I'm strong enough. Off we go to the next one. Off we go to the next one. Da -da -da -da. I can't go in there. Capacity, definitely no. High sword tribute, yep. Yeah. That would be strength, by the way. Laser beams, stars, random, random things going on. <laughs> you know what I have to say? Sometimes getting into these um, late game areas with medium, mediocre stuff gives you an appreciation as of how busted the other runs were. Definitely go with resin. Might as well have a bit more damage and stat application of the final boss fight. Right, because that's what mainly happens here with this. Nice, gotta win. Fire present, nice. So now we also burn the opponents. Boost for sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm running out of boost anyway. Stay in the middle to destroy everything. Okay, the boost is the attack speed one. How many boosts do we have? Six. How many can I have on us? Six. Well, doesn't matter, I'm not gonna use these ones. Oh, double whiskey. Well, we're not going to run out of both anyway, so... I increase attack speed because this is 5% damage. 
2.5% attack speed is 5% damage. As we get double the stats and damage. Nice. Uh, soul shop for 29 souls, yes. What are the choices? No, I do injure my potent one. A weapon, last minute weapon, no. Increase radiant and dark damage, no. Goat horn, increase dash length. Maybe. 500 to 1000 damage, how much does this do? 300, what? Oh, because it's melee, it gets from strength, I see. Wait, this shop gives you goodness? This shop gives you goodness? Since when? Well, I'm going with the dash length. I think it's better than stamina recovery speed. Dash length in general, although seems like a useless thing, uh, is good. Because it brings you out of... Uh, let's pop this. It brings you out of the danger more. That's the idea, right? You dash away from where the, the enemies are. Although in the same vein, having more dashes is better. Eh. Whatever, crit hit chance, still this is not even 2.5, it's more than 2.5. Like 3 or something. Wait, I'm waiting. I'm, my tipsiness is at 5, so I literally can now uh, drink the whiskey. Nice. Get my crit chance up, my attribute strength. Bye bye all of you. Nice. And final resting spot. And... Can I do anything here that matters? I don't think so. Tune items, I guess. Well, the healing doesn't matter. And uh, let's go. I think... <laughs> how, how much bigger is this? So, I'm at the wall. Can I Can I not move? This is... The exact amount is this. Wait, wait. It's this. That's the exact amount. From the wall... From the wall, we go to almost this. And with the other one... Wow! Yeah, we're going with recovery speed. I mean, I can even check the recovery speed. Can I not? I think I can. It's at defense. It's, uh... It's at misc. Uh... It should be at defense. Why is this not at defense, man? After dash. After dash. After da taking damage. Shouldn't it be right here? Invincibility. After dash. Dash. Recovery speed. I guess it's somewhere around here. Flask. Dexterity. Misc. Stamina. Stammer recovery time, 0 0.97. 0 0.97 and 0 0.5. And then with this one, 1.17, 0 0.5. Yeah, it does make a difference. Let's go. Let's go for the final fight. Which, by the way, let's not forget. Lightning first. Now we go. Okay. Lightning again. Now we go. 31,000 crits there. I got hit. And boss is dead. Oh, I wanted to test something. Uh, boss is not dead, by the way. I wanted to test if behind this you are safe, but you're not behind the safe. You need to be inside of it. This pattern is so awesome, man. This makes the, the boss immune, by the way. I'm hitting with, with the lightning. Hit him with the lightning. Which does nothing, by the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Loop around, loop around, loop around. I don't even know what's happening. Da -da 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 -da. Madness, madness, madness. Doesn't matter, matter. Because we're busted. What did the plank burn? Oh, the charcoal. Easy enough. Laser beams, a rave party, epilepsy warning. Whoop. And boss is dead. 38,000, 48,000. Oh, boss is at one life. You know what? Let's actually do this perfectly. Oh, boom. Missed it. Then everything is here. Boom. Missed it completely. Let's go full on rotation mode. Okay, I'm gonna be walking now. I'm gonna be here. Boom. Go banana. Boom. Boom. And the pet killed it. By the way, that event is extremely awesome and very smart from the dev. I think it's the, the, the most fun part of this. Um, the fact that... Wait a minute. You know what I want to do? I want to see if I can drop the key on the ground and see if something else happens. Like if I drop this key here on the ground. Boom. Can I go in here? I go, by the way, uh, can I go in this? Take the throne, yes. Without the key at hand. Da -na 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 -na. I am the glorious victor. I am the one that gave us a win. Yay. And we won. Easy enough. Easy enough. The paladin with the gun shaku. And the paladin with the gun shaku. The guy that nobody was expecting. And everybody has to die. Poof. And loop de loop. And death claims another one. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.